Let's talk to Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. There you are with your uh, two of your from your six birds, right? Uh, yes, I have Raja and Sasha here behind me. Mm -hmm. And so maybe our first question, uh, how did you come up with the idea with uh, having Raja and Sasha? Uh, was it because you watched uh, Rio and then you, you were inspired <laughs> to have some macho bird? Uh, what, is, what is the first um, story? I think it's because, uh, first of all, I'm a dog lover mm -hmm. and I had a dog pet that I really loved. But then, um, as we all know, dog live uh, quite short. Right. And so I was really sad to lose the dog. And so I tried to find another type of animals that can interact like dogs as well. Mm. And 2019, I, I tried, I, I bought a pet, a bird pet, and I just started falling in love with birds. And especially because they live quite, quite long, like humans, 70 to 80 years, oh. if you um, take care of it right. Right. So, how how old is uh, Raja and Sasha right now? Raja is only three years old, mm -hmm. and uh, Sasha is nine years old. Wow. All I right. See. You know, I can totally relate uh, to Jacqueline because, as I've mentioned before, mm -hmm. I am a dog person actually, and I owned a dog uh, when I was little. Mm -hmm. But then, when, when my dog passed away, I couldn't handle the sadness, you know. So at that time, I decided to stop mm -hmm. having dog as a pet. So I can totally relate with you, Jacqueline. <laughs> And I might choose bird as my yeah. next pet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jacqueline, let's, you know, everybody love talking about how much money you spent. So we heard that your pets are estimated around 1 billion rupiah. So um, is that true? And is there any specific treatment for your expensive birds? Well, the price kind of varies depending on the type of the bird. Mm -hmm. uh, some are starting from a thousand dollars maybe not that expensive and then it goes up from there and it really is not that hard to take care of the exotic birds but i do have uh, several keepers that mm -hmm. um, keep track on their food we give them a um, full meal of um, nuts complete nuts uh, mixed nuts and um, fruits vitamins and make sure that they're very healthy because it's not easy to take care of sick bird, mm -hmm. so prevention is always the best. So, and also, it's important to uh, give them a very clean environment. Right. Um, and okay. <laughs> what about the uh, monthly expenses for uh, Sasha and Raja? How much do you spend? Um, a month? I mean, for everyone. I mean, for all the birds, yep. and I do have other. Uh, I, I still have dogs, maybe all around for everyone, mm -hmm. for all the animals, about uh, 5000 6000 a month. Oh, that's a lot. With the keeper and all the food mm. and vitamins. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's including for all the birds, for all uh, six birds that you, you are having right now, right? Yes. I have more than six birds. Mm. Oh. I think... Uh, the amount of expense that I have to come up with every month is due to the amount of animals I have in my home. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have more, I have several dogs. I have a giant Malinwood as well, and they eat a lot. Mm, and yeah. <laughs> as you know, dogs need a lot of grooming as yeah, well. Right. And all those little details, um, I think that's why it's pretty costly. Well, your birds are categorized uh, into exotic birds, right? Um, can you take us through some of them? Yes. Uh, can you take us through the process of you adopting these birds? Uh, what are the process that you have to go through? I I bought uh, some of my birds from a friend, mm -hmm. and he helped me a lot with the um, with the um, buying of the birds. So he prepare all the certificates and all the all the things that I need to keep the birds and I just um, ask him for all the help. Right. So, I mean, uh, we would like to know about the, the process in, in terms of 
uh, it should be legal to for having uh, this kind of exotic birds, right? It is, it is. If you have all the certificates, uh, it's legal. Mm -hmm. And uh, every bird, of course, you must have uh, each certificate and yeah. it should be okay. Right. So maybe you can uh, share us more. What kind of certificates that you have must have until you have you can have uh, this kind of bird as, as your pets at home? Certificates, it's general certificate. I mean, for Indonesian bird, uh, we do get certificates from uh apa namanya, the from BKSDA. BKSDA, yeah. But for yeah, cuman uh, for the birds from outside they do mm -hmm. have certain um certificates that they prepare, especially the seller. It's um it's a different form of uh certificate that maybe I cannot explain too detail because it's just like a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I should explain it to you. But when the bird comes, it comes with certificate as well. Right. Mm. Because if not, the bird can't fly through the plane. Right. right. Okay. Now, Jacqueline, yeah. um, your videos with Sasha and Raja are viral and have so many viewers. Why do you think people like your oh, yeah. videos? Maybe particularly because Sasha can uh, talk mm -hmm. and um, I, I got her when she was already six years old. So she had a previous owner and that's why she's able to uh, speak certain, a lot certain things and she can cry. She I think one cry. of her video that got viral first because she was crying like ah. a baby. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, she cannot, I can't, I really, uh, I haven't found the way how to make her cry on cue. Right. <laughs> but usually when she's trying, <laughs> when she's trying to get my attention, then she would uh, start talking like, like right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then start um, shouting, crying, like that. Right, interesting. So yeah, it's, it's getting more interesting. Maybe you can share with us like uh, how many words that already have been said by Shasa or Raja so far? Or it's uh, just like... Uh, Raja only... Yeah, you go on. Raja only a few words, but he can do free fly. So I uh, let him fly every weekend. And we also have a bird trainer. We train him every morning, mm -hmm. um, fly him outside the house yeah. and then um, in different field, and then he'll f just fly around and then come back to us. Wow! Like like bird sports. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, Sasha? She has more words, yeah, of course. Sasha, yes, she speaks more than Raja. Uh, she can cry and she can say hello. Maybe you can try now. Like general <laughs> words. <laughs> She's. I think Sasha. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Say something. Sasha. Hi. Hi. Hello, Sasha. Oh. Oh. Say hi. Say. So cute. Yes, Sasha. Coba <laughs> nangis. <laughs> she won't cry. She won't cry. <laughs> She's okay. shy. Malu dia. <laughs> Malu ya. She's a little shy. <laughs> Jacqueline. Dia nggak bisa disuruh. Oh, you're right, right. So, Jacqueline. Yesterday we had um, we talked to one of the animal communicators. So, you having all these animals, do you think you talk to them, and do you think they understand what you're saying? And can we you know what what you guys what do you talk about with your animal <laughs> with your pets? <laughs> uh, I think with animals they understand us from our gesture, like mm. when we pet them, and then or when we're angry when they do something wrong. I think it's more to like. Uh, the sound that we make mm. and um, the look that we give to them. I think that's how they understand how we communicate with them. Mm. Not necessarily like <laughs> understanding my words, but yeah. um, maybe the sound that I make and the gesture that I make. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very interesting. It, it, uh, it, at first, you mentioned you were a dog person, right? Before having bird as a pet. Yeah. Uh, how did you transition? I mean, uh, from having dog, which is relatively big, uh, into taking care of exotic birds. How was it? 
What was it like? I had a teacup actually. I had a teacup Yorkie, and mm -hmm. she was with me for 13 years. Mm -hmm. I took care of her since she was two months, mm -hmm. so she was like my baby. And I got really sad when she died. Mm -hmm. So when she grew old, and I can sense that her time was not. Uh, it's not gonna be long. I, I then I start buying uh, a pair of bird, and then from there I fall. I just fall in love with birds. All right. Well. <laughs> so, uh, um, Jacqueline, maybe you can share with us a uh, uh, more specific. Uh, what type of the birds is Sasa and uh, Raja? If I'm not mistaken, it's not from Sasha South American, a... right? Brazilian birds. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yellow Nate and Macau. Right. So what is the specific type uh, of the Brazilian Macau? Hyacinth Macau. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like uh, they, they have a special... The type is Hyacinth Macau. Yes, Hyacinth Macau. Yeah. What is the... Like, uh, what we call it? Uh, uh, all of them are blue or there is another color or... Yeah. We would like to oh, know about the general um, specific of the Hyacinth Macau. There are several colors for uh, macaw, and there's also hybrid color. Mm -hmm. Each color has their own name, like scarlet, atalina, bufon. There's there's so many colors, and there's so many types. And uh, each color, they have their own personality, and um, different prices as well, depending on the color. The sizes also different, varies depending on the color as well, and the type of the bird, of the macaw bird. Mm -hmm. But they all eat the same, the way we take care of the bird also the same. Mm -hmm. And um, their, uh, their living space is also the same. So basically, just different colors and different uh, size of the birds. See. Jacqueline, one last question. Do you have, um, what's your next purchase for birds? Are you buying a new bird anytime soon? Um, maybe not. Maybe I'm just gonna take care of what I have now because I have uh, quite a handful of birds right now and um, just take care of the ones that I have right now. All right. Perfect. And we would like to wait for another uh, video. What, what do you call it? A video that, <laughs> that, that has uh, uh, that already uh, that will show the talent from your birds. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jacqueline, for your time okay, thank and sharing you. your story. Bye. Thank you.